Oh, let me tell you something. Once that church is built, it's gonna look beautiful. Hello, everyone. Cole going here and welcome to another episode of Foundation in the Fluvial map. We're right here where we left it. And I'm very excited to jump into this episode right away and start doing a lot of things. The first thing that I'm actually thinking of doing, and uh, why not, right? We're gonna do the Cooperage. Uh, we're gonna be creating some barrels. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna build it kind of like right here next to the, the industrial zone where we have the planks, we have the iron, we have everything we need uh, to, you know, to start producing barrels. So basically, we're gonna need four planks, one iron, and one tool for uh, i mean from one for one barrel the good thing about the barrels though is that we can sell it for for 20 a piece okay and this is also if i'm not mistaken this is gonna be also very profitable i know it uses a, a tool i know it uses iron which we are you know we're producing slowly but uh, at least we're already producing iron uh, tools right uh, maybe not in a in a very fast matter in fact let's take a look yeah well i mean we have a hundred and 73 iron worst case scenario we can actually add another blacksmith to the to the lot right uh i mean we have coal we, i think we have everything so let's go ahead and give it a try let's start producing some barrels now one thing i'm also waiting for it to to get built is this friend right here the dairy farm so we can start selling maybe cheese around here who knows right now we're selling if i'm not mistaken berries berries and bread that's right so People around here maybe are very happy. We'll see how, how it goes. Now, I think they need a well here, do they not? I mean, we have a well there. We have a well here. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and throw them a well right in the middle here. I think that well is going to do them good. Oh, looks like a monk is requesting an audience here. 50 planks for, you yeah, know, it's not giving a cash. If, uh, if, if maybe waiting for the other one is better for the, for the envoy. Because um, the monk won't give us cash anymore. All right, so yeah, another thing we were talking about uh, last episode is uh, Polish stone. Obviously, it's being uh, built here. We already set it to get built. We just need to wait for the materials to get uh, delivered and whatnot. It looks like we need a builder there. Ah, we're producing wool here as well. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, where are you storing the wool? Okay, you're bringing it all the way down here. Oh, no, you're bringing it all the way down there. So yeah, probably, yeah, we're definitely going to need one more i mean what we i mean what we can do is basically i'm thinking here common cloth we yeah we have quote-unquote plenty we don't have that many but definitely maybe adding another another production up there kind of like right around this area or maybe in here as we said before basically add another um a wool uh, cloth product what we call weaver hot and a tailor workshop yep was that's definitely something that we can actually do now the boar i'm pretty sure we said that that we were going to be producing boars but it was all the way down here yep there it is i mean we can start producing those uh as well as the hop farm but i don't know i'm, I'm i already we already have that there um i think we're not ready yet to build the tavern especially because we're building this massive church that is taking every single resource in the city is taking everything away now oh, another thing that we actually need and we, we need to find a way to do it is uh is the the masterpieces right so we definitely have uh where is it right here we have the marble deposit so this is something we're gonna be adding so we can actually add them right here yeah that's something we actually need because uh we need to start building those masterpiece and give a little bit of life to our city right so we're gonna need a crane for that i mean we can place it next to the other crane right actually that's actually really good right there uh and that's that's all they're gonna do basically build uh we gonna have 30 tools so yeah it might be time for us to build a yeah why don't we do that let's go ahead and buy tools up to we have uh let's let's do uh let's buy a a, a big chunk just maybe one or two three trips uh where is it we're buying up to we have 20 uh let's do 30 right here yeah constantly buying tools money is coming in very nicely let's do the okay this guy we can send it to the label let's do the hard quest yep there you go and let's send them let's send our military i know we lost a couple right so but did we replace them i don't think we did or looks like we did actually let's see yeah we have 10 so yeah i, I guess i replaced it i forgot about it last episode so let's go ahead and send them to that mission and the other mission no my soldiers only serve me <laughs> we're gonna keep those for now oh wow look look at the wood guys uh 
uh, that makes me think maybe it's a good time to add another another coal farm right because right now what i can see here okay so this guy is not producing coal as fast because he uh, he has or he or she let's see who's that who's that person i mean we have three of them oh we have three she's wow all right three girls uh producing coal so yeah let's go ahead and be we might actually need to build them a warehouse here and i think i'm gonna do that build them a warehouse here in fact i'm thinking maybe building them two warehouse we'll see how it goes but yeah definitely a warehouse somewhere here oh we have a warehouse here what, what, what am i talking about and we're storing everything here so yeah i'm sorry about that <laughs> all right so what got built okay everything here perfect so let's go ahead and start assigning people uh let's see two miners and uh, one stone mason now we're storing that here we're storing stone we're not storing yeah that's that's actually what we need we need another warehouse somewhere here and that's for a lot of things so yeah i'm gonna add this warehouse here let's see i don't like maybe inside you know why because i'm thinking maybe we can use this for the wool and whatnot I don't want to interrupt with the desirability around this area so maybe in front of it i'm gonna do it in front of it maybe it's not the best plan in there because uh, wool needs to be stored obviously in a in a warehouse as, uh, as well as the cloth but that's something we're yet to see is that got built almost yeah we're, we're just waiting for a builder is it time to add another builder workshop i don't think so another guys that are you know <laughs> they're a little bit abandoned around here i know oh promotion available i almost missed it wow <laughs> i almost missed that just almost like one day maybe seconds away so yeah these guys over here unfortunately are very abandoned we abandoned them or, or i mean i'm gonna take the full responsibility i abandoned them but at least they're they're doing their job right they're they're living okay there's no complaints about it unfortunately there looks like they're not building anything or no houses here we, we don't have any jobs here as either so i'm thinking maybe we can throw them a dairy farm although it's you know it's the desirability i mean we can throw them a dairy farm here i don't think that might actually be a bad idea and then we can start producing cheese inside this area and give it another job and what what do we have we have bread we have fish i mean we can change this for cheese instead right or we can add the bread or we can start producing our own clothes but i don't think that's necessary instead i'd rather have them uh eat cheese so yeah let's go ahead and give them a cheese maker here a dairy farm i think that's gonna be phenomenal obviously next to the wheat farm uh as long as it doesn't affect the desirability too much here let's go ahead. obviously i think the cows are gonna go outside but that's okay all right so let's upgrade up to what up to 80 percent happiness because uh, believe me, it's going to go down. So if we do, I, I think I said I didn't want to do that <laughs> last episode. But I, I like upgrade, uh, promote more to more commoners. But I think we're ready to. So why don't we go to 65, maybe 70. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right. So we have 70. I mean, I can do four more uh no Ugh, let's do four one two three and four let's do it like that yep all right i don't want anyone complaining they're probably gonna start complaining about it a lot of stuff we just need to wait for the houses to get built they're gonna start promoting those houses upgrading those houses which is nice very very nice there you go like just like i said houses are being upgraded houses are being upgraded just like crazy right so they're being upgraded around this area which is the main area yeah all the houses being upgraded at the same time meaning we're probably gonna need a lot lot of uh, more builders i mean we have four builders here probably we need to add another one maybe around here i've been wanting to add a builder workshop kind of like right here so let's go ahead and do it all right so why do we have did we get these people or did we just let's see i'm not sure if we just got oh yeah we just got it okay because sometimes uh there is that uh that's something i don't know to be off the top of my head but i know the the commoners cannot work in certain industries that's something you have to keep in mind uh i'm not 100 percent which ones are i never care to look actually uh if someone has played the game and have uh, looked about that please let me know in the description or in the comment section just to you know for future reference so it looks like we have a commoner here i mean he can uh, he or she whatever these guys this couple right there can go down here and buy their clothes no access to comfort 
Let's see. Where do you where do you leave, my friend? You do live here. Oh wow. You went to commoner over here. Okay, cool. All right. All right, let's keep the troops. Let's keep them there all, all over there. Uh let's see. Are we building here? Yes, we are. Perfect. Everything is moving along along nicely. I don't think there is a things to get worried about just yet. This gets getting built. Uh we're, you know, we're coating stone here obviously. Obviously, a lot of stone and polished stone are going towards this uh, massive church, but that's okay. We're almost there, though. I mean, what else we need? I, like, doubled, <laughs> double the polished stone. Maybe, like, what, 100 and something? You, you do the math. 140, 140, yep. And then the rest uh, is tools that we're buying. Oh, look at that. We have 43 tools, guys. Wow. Carpenter. We don't have any carpenters here. Interesting. I thought we did. It's bringing 30 planks. Good. Gravial. Yeah, everything is moving nicely i think uh, the only thing that we might actually need to double down on is the the cloth production obviously i mean we have how many tailor workshop let's see if we click here right click we can track it so we have one two and a third one here uh we're, we have wool we have good you know good amount of wool we have a good amount of cloth so yeah i might actually throw another tailor workshop Hopefully, that's not something that's going to break the production chain. But yeah, I'm going to throw them right here. I think here is amazing. Right at the entrance and maybe the, the weaver hut next to it once we build it. But yeah, I know I'm, I'm building, I'm building, building, building. But, uh, you know, we need to get, you know, ready for, for whatever is, uh, throw, is thrown at us, right? <laughs> we keep getting people. And I'm very excited about that. Uh, I have a. I had a question from one of you guys, and I appreciate uh, everyone that do ask questions, join the discourse, Twitter. Uh, what was the goal of the of the series? I don't know. I didn't decide. Just I mean, if you watch the Antigua map, you know that uh, that the goal was uh, either we reach uh, 500 uh, villagers, or or we uh, we lose the game, or update 1.9 comes out. Uh, the either of one that that you know that happened first we reached 500 villagers first so this the series stopped but for this one i don't have any goals set yet uh maybe maybe until we get tired maybe until 1.9 comes out we'll see how it goes uh there's no rush i mean i think 1.9 don't get me wrong polymorph games the developer they are not known for fast uh, dev uh like real uh, release update content release but that's okay it's not a big problem because they do an a spectacular job when they release a game like this so or they release an update so i i don't mean to rush them or you know nobody even the community don't mean to rush them but yeah they, they it can take time it can be they said uh have you know the, within the first uh uh you know half of the year but it might take more than that it could be at the end of the year but we'll see no goal yet set all right lots of things going on the military just came back from their mission they were successful they brought a lot of stuff which is good so what's happening basically we you know the dairy farm our builders were able oh, look at that the cows are eating the wheat uh there they finished the dairy farm i'm building the tailor workshop as you saw i'm building a cheese maker right here and now on the abandoned island, we should change the <laughs> the name of this island as an abandoned island. I built a dairy farm, remember, and then I'm building a, a cheese maker right here. Now, uh, as you can see, I pushed the wall uh, to, you know, towards the water because the, the cows were going outside, as I said, as I predicted. So I don't know what they're going to do now because they, they were coming out of the wall all the way down here, going into this gate, and then coming back. So coming back through i mean it looked nice but i don't want the cows the animals getting mixed with the you know with this area right here so let's see how what happens there we'll just need to wait now the lots of things going on here lots of military mission i don't think our military is going to be ready yet for another yeah look at that they're super wounded so let's kind of reject all of them just for now i think they did really good on the last mission and obviously we have another promotion wow that's that was kind of fast I'm just gonna do the surf for now no commoners this time no commoners uh one one thing that we need to do i mean we we have resources like not a lot but you know they're pouring in obviously cloth is becoming a problem i'm thinking maybe adding another another tailor workshop next to it and see how it goes uh obviously we have i mean we have a good amount of cloth uh, and wool so maybe and and adding another uh 
Taylor Workshop, as well as a Weaver Hut, might be good. Why is this guy building this house here? Where I mean, oh my God, look at that. So where do you work? Let's let's take a look where he works. Uh, who's that? All right. So you do work 12 meters, 65 meters, 70 meters, 70 meters, 70 meters, 24. Okay. So why are you choosing that location? First of all, that location does is not authorized for a house. And second of all, why don't you choose kind of like right here, for God's sake? It's like, that's a perfect area, my friend. I don't know. You know, these villagers, and they're building more houses here. Look at that. Wow. All right. If they choose it to live there, I'm not going to I'm not gonna push them uh, away from the idea. I'm going to build another builder workshop here, as I've been doing. I mean, I know I've been building a lot of builder workshops, but the good thing about the builder workshop is that we, we can remove them if we need to. We, or we can actually use the, the employees, the builders, for other uh, things if we need them. Right now, we're building 11 uh, things right now, buildings. Uh, and we're probably gonna need, uh, you know, to to you know build more and more and more. So especially because of the houses, the houses are the, taking all the our builders. I look at the church, how it's looking, guys. Wow, that church is looking phenomenal. And right now, a uh, 31 weekly attendance, we're able to host 31 people. Uh, one thing I'm I want to build, and I'm I, I just decided where you're gonna build it, and I'm gonna build it all all the way back here, is the what is it the masterpiece right now now one thing that we actually need to think about is that we cannot build anything around that masterpiece if we build that masterpiece and then we decide to expand that way uh then we're gonna lose the optional effect and that is that's the masterpiece uh we've been trying to find a location which is the the garden masterpiece right now uh well this is outside the territory i don't plan to buy this territory just yet but that's where we're gonna where we're gonna build it Obviously, the tavern, it's kind of like, you know, becoming a, a necessity. Uh, but uh, for now, I don't think we are, we're able, I mean, we, I don't think we're ready yet because I just want all the builders to get offhand, right? We're probably not going to promote anyone else until the tavern gets built. That way we can utilize all our builders towards that uh, resource that we need. Uh, is that the cheesemaker? Yes, it is. So, yeah, polished stone is becoming a problem. Um... But it's, it's not becoming a problem. It's being a problem right now due to the church taking all of them. Uh, right now, 331. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to say I can risk it, guys. I mean, let's see. Who sells Polish stone? Does anyone? Yeah, they do sell Polish stone. I mean, we're selling Polish stone regardless, but obviously we're not going to make it uh, to 30. Uh, we're, not, we're not making it to 30 yet. So, so yeah. Well, look at the tools, guys. I know we're buying tools, but I wonder if that's those tools are being produced by our toolmaker right here. That's pretty interesting. Oh, look at that. Did they finish? Oh, looks like they did finish. Perfect. Let's go ahead and assign miners here. Let's go ahead and assign three, maybe a fourth one. And then what we're going to do, the territory, oh, we can actually do it right away, I think, right? Yes, we own that territory. So let's go ahead and assign someone there. Yeah, let's start building our ore, uh, iron ore. As you can see, we were desperate to, <laughs> to obtain uh, every every resource or every uh, mineral out there. Because, I mean, it took us a while to, to obtain a lot of those. Look at that. Let's put the rock holders around here. Perfect. Now, this guy, hopefully, it let us build it. Yep, it's going to let us build it right here. And what? Did I build that right like that? Oh, no, that's... Is that the way it looks? With the, with the wheel? Oh, no, the... I think the wheel get goes up once they finish building it. <laughs> All right, let's put our gold right there. Perfect. That's going to be something we're going to def definitely need. Obviously, to unlock that kind of things. Where is it? Uh, we have to... I mean, to use the gold, right? We're going to need uh, the... Gla not the glass melter, but the gold melter, the jewelry workshop. We're going to need these two guys right here, which are going to be producing jewelry. And the jewelry is going to be uh, luxury. Uh, I know, obviously, the common works, uh, the common works workshop. That's something that uh, we're definitely going to need to build it. That's for the citizens. But as you can see, it takes one tool, one plank, and one iron. Takes takes tools, right? And uh, this guy is going to take tools as well. As well. So uh, we got to be careful how we utilize our tools once we build everything. All right. So these guys got built. Do we have anyone available? It looks like we do not. But you know, we have a couple builders here that we can use for. Uh, let's go ahead and remove. What is their name? Good. Oh, uh, Guthroth. Okay. Oh well, it looks like that. We just got two people. Cool. Definitely gonna assign someone here. 
And this guy is going to reforest all this area. All this area, my friend. You're going to make it very dense. Very, very dense. I don't care if it's going to look very dense. That's the idea here. No pines, right? No pines. And only oaks. Perfect. Now, no, no building. Yeah, no housing around this area. That's okay. Oh, look at that, guys. Wow. That church is going fast. I, I thought it was going to take probably one more episode. But the way we're building, it looks like uh, we might get it to, you know, see. We might be able to see it this episode. Now, one thing we want to do is uh, take a look at the... So, Hunter, it's a woodcutter. Where's this woodcutter? Is it... Okay, this woodcutter right here. We can actually remove this woodcutter. I'm willing to sacrifice those 12 uh, tools. Or not tools, but wood. We can place something there in the future. Maybe another... Uh, oh, maybe we can place like a, like a statue there or something. Transporters, we don't need that. Miners, we definitely gonna need that. Uh, not, not yet. Marble quarry. Okay, we need one more there. Perfect. For the marble quarry right here. They should be able to... I mean, they should start producing marble already, yeah? Let me see. Yep, they're actually producing marbles. And I am storing marble. I added a warehouse here. So, wood, polished stones, barrels, and marble. That's where the tools are going. I mean, the marble is gonna go maybe add another warehouse here for the rest for gold and whatnot and the glass uh, uh we don't have glass here do we yeah we do not so glass is somewhere yeah there it is that's the quartz to make glass now the glass obviously is not uh, something that uh, comes hand easily obviously we need to buy the territory when i need a lot maybe two actually yeah two territory i mean we can buy this one but we won't be able to build anything around it so two territories there and then obviously we need to see what we're gonna do with the glass i mean there's plenty of things that we can do with the glass but one thing oh look at that the cheesemaker got built perfect right next to our obviously this stone is kind of like in the way but i just wanted to see it like you know watch it like like a whole farming area right here uh, that's i think it's looking phenomenal right here now definitely gonna need a couple of people there there you go thank you <laughs> right there but i think it's time for us to start expanding this way uh, i don't think that church is gonna be a we, i don't think we need that church for a while but we might actually need one soon for this area because i'm planning to make this a residential area kind of thing i don't think that residential area is gonna work pretty well and the reason why is because the durability is not gonna be as uh, high because we're not gonna have a church there but we'll see how it goes we're gonna be building it here and around this area we're gonna be building houses right so kind of like make it oh well we all we have to buy this territory right here so let's see well let's wait until that gets built and see what happens i'm hoping that newcomers those newcomers that uh, we assign here they build that here now we're definitely gonna need another granary for what i can see well i lied to you we can actually get cheese here and uh once the milk yeah once the cheese maker gets uh yep uh, they should be able to come here and, and get it from here yep i believe so that's what i'm doing right yep there she comes into the cheese maker perfect all right so we're gonna be storing cheese here now do we want to add another marker here probably or do we want to bring that marker here that's where i'm probably what I'm, what, what I'm gonna do i'm probably gonna do here another marker here with berries i believe we're producing berries here we're producing berries here so it would make sense if we can actually grab uh, berries and sell it here. Or do we have... Yeah, there you, we do. There you go, guys. Another fishing... Oh, uh, perfect. Another fishing district. So, yeah, buying all, the whole island, right? Putting some fishing... Fisher huts around here. Selling the cheese here with the fish. And some probably... A, a, maybe a small chapel. That's what we can do just for desirability. We can do one of these, the small ones. Maybe for 30 people or so. And then we can expand it later on. But yeah, towards this area. Maybe a lower manor. Who knows? But definitely something that I'm looking forward to. All right. So we have made a lot of progress here. So let me show you here real quick. So the cup, the, the barrel pr producer, the barrel maker is uh, basically finished here. Obviously, the barrel, we're not going to use the barrel until we actually start uh, building or producing wine in the winery right here. Uh, so, what we're, so what we're going to do in the meantime... We're going to go to the trade route. So actually, here in the trades, we're going to search for barrels. Uh, right, there you go. Sell everything. We're not going to keep anything. It, they sell for a good amount, uh, for a good chunk, at uh, 20 per. So if we sell 10 on each three, we're talking about 200 gold coins. Now, 
Speaking of gold coins, we're going down in gold coins. So why is that? Because I decided to buy this, uh, what is it? Yep, buy the whole territory here. So we're losing a little bit of money. Uh, we're not producing anything. Obviously, I added a lumber camp here, which is temporary. So these guys can remove that here. And we're going to actually start make, uh, producing fish. Now, I'm either planning to put it here or kind of like right here. And I think here might be a good idea. However, as you can see, I added the, the residential area around this area right here. So m what I'm thinking here, maybe adding the church right here in the middle, like a tiny church, using this for residential as well, right? And then see what we can do here. Now, one thing I did notice is this. We are not producing wheat as fast as I, as we should, right? So what I decided to do is add another wheat farm right here. Uh, I mean, the reason why I say that right now is looking good is because uh, the windmill was complaining about it. So to counterpart for that, I'm just going to leave it as easy as for now to see how it goes. And uh, if we are producing way too, I mean, way too much wheat, worst case scenario, we can add another windmill. That doesn't hurt anybody, right? So, yeah, basically right here, what we're going to do is make sure we have enough room for for a church right here. And then the market right in the middle. Hold like there you go. Charge the market right here in the middle for cheese and fish right cheese and fish that's the main thing we're gonna do since we have the cheese right here we might actually uh, remove the cheese from here add an, a granary around here but uh and then we can actually do this uh, for a, a another residential area but one thing I'm, I'm i don't want to miss out is having some uh builders workshop around here with a, with their own production so what we might actually do is get a bridge across the river. And since we have the nodes here, we can actually add a, a lower manor here. And the, the reason why I'm going to add a lower manor here is just to assign a bailiff here. So they don't have to walk way too far away. Because right now, oh, look at that. Bad weather is coming, guys. Bad weather is coming. Uh, so they don't have to walk all the way down here just to investigate these nodes. So, so that's that's the plan, and then production, maybe a forester, a, a lumber camp, forester camp here, you know, producing uh, wood planks all for this area, their own woods, and obviously once we discover this, if we find iron, we're gonna be making our own tools in this area as well, and our own uh, barrels and whatnot. Every single resources that we have produced already, they're gonna be, be produced here. So that's really, I'm really, really looking forward to it obviously i'm just gonna wait i'm not gonna do it right now i'm just gonna wait for these guys to clean up that way we can give them some time and give us some time to plan ahead and so let's see an envoy is uh, requesting an audience let's see what they want uh bread okay i can give you i can give you bread i mean let's see i mean we have plenty of everything so maybe he helped the king right here i'm doing it for the gold coins uh i mean we are at capacity obviously now i wonder if we actually do we have any treasury here we do not okay yeah, so let's see. Let me see something here real quick. So the hop farm, we can start producing maybe hop. We have a couple of people, but before I start deciding if we're going to use them. Oh, there you go. The farmers. Yeah, I was going to say who we need here. So there's another cheese maker right here. Now, that cheese maker, obviously, I mean, we have, you know, some good milk. Obviously, it's probably not going to pick up with the production and the consumption right now because we should be able to... Oh, I forgot to mention, guys. We're selling cloth here yep i completely forgot to mention that so what we're gonna do is remove a builder from here and aside them right here and we're gonna be selling our oh look at oh wait a minute the church is built guys the church is built how oh no 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 ah uh, oh, wait a minute uh, i got i got scared here for a minute no it's just one hammer where is he come on where are you my friend oh you're okay you're hitting with the hammer already okay let's see let's see finish it finish it there you go guys the church has been built there you go guys the church has been built let's remove out this out of the way right there beautiful church guys it took forever and we have unlocked the gem encrusted cross masterpiece and if I'm not mistaken, this is the hardest masterpiece to build in this game. It's insanely hard to build it. And you're going to see why. All right. The high clergy splendor of one of our monuments has inspired 
some of our your villagers and they wish you to build a gem encrusted cross masterpiece to honor the occasion so the bonus effect is gonna get we're gonna get two influence per week i don't know how beneficial that is obviously i mean it could be beneficial for several reasons but let me show you that masterpiece guys and i i'm gonna tell you why it's so hard to build it if we place it here let's say we grab one of these there you go guys it takes 50 gems to build them 50 gems we only have two all right and the reason why it's hard is because those gems are found randomly we don't know how to find them they find it randomly it's not like you can time it now if you go here obviously you you will be able to sell those gems i mean not, not the gem but the jewelry all uh, right because that but but the jewelry is also used for ju uh you know jewelry for luxury for the citizens so so definitely i do not recommend selling jewelries unless you have plenty because those gems are very very valuable and jewelry we have 28 because of the missions the military missions but those gems are very difficult to find so there you go guys the church is built what a spectacular church this is just beautiful is it not all right so it's safe to say that the polish stone uh, production is going to increase obviously now that we have uh, built that mega church <laughs> now tools production as you can see it's uh, looking beautiful uh we have two two persons uh, two people uh, working on the uh, uh, on the barrel production i don't think we need that many but you know we're just gonna leave them there now pr a promotion available it's gonna promote everyone to surf and I'm eager to say that we're going to be promoting some to commoners. Uh, we're just going to start with six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Hopefully that doesn't go crazy. And then we're going to go 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 more. There you go. We're, we're that we're up to 90 commoners right now. Obviously it might be, get be time to start producing or actually, uh, uh promoting to, uh, citizens, to be honest, but I want this thing to get built. Right here so we actually oh this got built we just need to put the production area right there i mean these guys we're probably taking all the space for these guys right here we may actually need to move him let's see let me take a look something here real quick so we can actually buy this territory and produce the wood here if we absolutely want to i don't think it's gonna be necessary but yeah definitely we gotta set our boundaries here but the gold production jewelry production everything's gonna happen in this area all right, look, look at the military missions. Uh, we, we're busy. Oh, everyone's... Oh, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, can we upgrade some uh, promote to... Yeah, we we can. Now, I don't I don't want to because uh, luxury still. Yeah, we got to start thinking of adding the luxury mar uh, markets here. The market tenders the, uh, that are kind of like right here. We can actually add them. I was thinking maybe next to the Lord Manor or inside the Lord Manor, maybe behind the Lord Manor, kind of like right here. But ideally, we'll be kind of like in the middle, kind of like right here. We'll see. Maybe here. We'll see where we can put it. There's plenty of space that we can put it. We can put three. But ideally, we want one or two. And the reason why is because uh, we are not producing luxury and we're not going to produce it in a, in a fast manner. Uh, we're going to consume more than we can produce right now. So that's the importance of actually expanding this way too yeah we definitely want to expand this way and uh, it's kind of like mandatory it's a necessity right all right let's let's add them a warehouse because uh i think they're full right now and they, they yeah oh look at that they're building their house there oh yeah let's go ahead and add them a warehouse kind of like right here uh let's see if we if we're gonna go that way yeah i think i think a warehouse here might be actually really good right in the middle and then next to it we're gonna do the granary yeah we're gonna we're gonna get ready for for what's coming actually guys we're gonna we have to get ready for what's to what, what's coming right now now if we build that there we can actually build it right in front of it and hope our people know how to use it actually yeah let's go ahead and do it right there i mean if if it doesn't work out the way i want it to work out we can just rebuild it if if that's the case let's see so 95 tools guys polished stone as i said it's coming hot so what we're gonna do is sell polished stone which we're selling right but i'm just gonna uh, increase it to 50 not 120 no that's not that's not it increase it to 50 
obviously we have the cheese maker right here oh let's go ahead and assign that, that guy there and uh, we should be able to are we selling cheese here we are not yet so we can actually change this to cheese and remove a bread or we can just keep this cheese here only just for now and see how it goes how it, how it plays out for now until until we have more people because obviously citizens as i said as i previously said uh citizens are gonna need three type of food uh being i mean we just need to distribute it up accordingly because we don't want to sell the same type of food everywhere otherwise we're gonna run out of everything pretty quickly so we're gonna want to distribute it for example here we have a cheese maker here obviously this city is gonna have cheese right if that makes sense and then actually i'm gonna cancel this one right here hold on hold on hold your hold your horses here because i'm gonna build the market here so let's go ahead and sign that granary hold your horses there uh, kind of like right here the granary is going to be right here and the reason why is because mark is going to be here fisher hut's going to be here and we can actually lay them out right away it's not like it's a big deal i mean we can place i really want them next to this uh, stream water stream rather to be this big one and the reason why is because i don't know i kind of like like it that way I, I i i like uh the i like to see the the boats going out of to like the open sea for example obviously this is not an open sea but you get the point right hopefully you do <laughs> all right let's see what else we can do here oh for billiards perfect so let's go ahead and open and just in time taylor we need a taylor uh miners that's for the is that the yeah the gold quarry assign them all over there and forester where's this forester camp it's over here hunters over here the hop farmer all right so yeah let's go ahead and add the bad weather is here let's go ahead and add a lumber camp and the reason why i'm gonna add a lumber camp here is because i'm gonna just place it here uh, i just want to get rid of these trees right here it might take them a while to do so but yeah the, the everything is looking phenomenal guys i think i think we are we're up uh you know we're up to something good and what they call in this area right at <laughs> do you see them they're going for these little trees in fact don't don't come back here please don't come back here i appreciate you coming here but don't just remove this and you know do that please uh once we yeah once we have the wood here one thing i want to probably that's where where i'm gonna do uh next time we get people i'm gonna try to oh look at that with farmers we need a lot of it a lot of them yeah next time what i'm gonna do is fill up try to fill up all the transporter just to keep everything moving uh, moving nicely I, I want everything to move in a timely and respectful manner in a very very nice uh, uh way very nice pace obviously everything is looking phenomenal we're producing we're producing berries like crazy we're not consuming them as 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 much anyways we can start i mean i'm pretty sure we're selling berries yes we are everything about 250 we're even selling fish why don't we i mean fish i'm gonna leave it as is it looks like we have 250 in stock so i'm not i'm not gonna i don't want to mess with it too much we could sell bread but I, I don't want to we're selling we're definitely selling uh cloth i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna increase this to 150 just in case i just want to be safe there selling planks everything above above 125 we can start selling tools if we absolutely want to if we absolutely need to or if we absolutely absolutely re are required to but for now i'm not we're not <laughs> we don't need that but for well with that guys i'm actually gonna keep it here thank you for watching thank you for being here don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below i will see you in the next episode i will see you next time and i will see you very very soon bye bye guys